Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Buy or Knob with your host, Father. Now, if you're wondering uh, what happened today, I'm recording this right after I recorded myself opening the uh, Elite 3 weekly rewards that I got for Foot Champs. So I'm going to spoil what I got. So if you have not seen that video, it should be up already. Click off the video now and go check that. Or don't if you don't care. I don't control you. I'm not your dad. Well, anyway, I'm assuming you've uh, seen that video or you just don't care. And uh, anyway, in that video, I got Inform the Comps as my highest rated player, 85 rated. Not a bad card, but I already have his 83 rated and not probably going to use him because I don't want to use a French League squad. But anyway, we're going to see about this card, Ching is Under. We're doing a versus episode, guys. And uh, a lot of people wanted to see this card against another card that we'll see in just a moment. But looking at this card, 86 pace, 84 dribbling, 80 shot. Nothing really stands out. He's only 80 rated, so he's not the greatest thing in the world. High medium work rates are nice. 5'8", meaning he's short enough to have good agility and good balance. He has the left foot, which we like, and he has 4-star weak foot, 3-star skills. You'd, of course, love the 4-star, four 4-star, four but uh, I think weak foot is slightly less important than skill moves, in my opinion. And looking at the attribute details, great balance, great agility. Ball control and dribbling, however, is a little bit low. If he had the combination of high balance, high agility, and high uh, ball control, high dribbling, he'd be really good. It'd be like a Salah kind of card. Uh, maybe like a little bit less than that, but good acceleration and good sprint speed equals at 86. Low composure, low finishing, but he does have nice shot power. And you might be a little bit confused because I have one game played, one goal scored. I was recording the video and then for some reason the audio just shut off. So uh, I'm re-recording it, but I only played like half, one half of a game. And he is going up against Bernadeschi, who got an assist in that one match to Under. And he's left-footed, he's the opposite of Under in that he has 3-star weak foot, 4-star skills, which I said I would prefer, as opposed to the 4-star weak foot, 3-star skills. Good pace, it's just 86 at the same, but he has 86-86, unlike, unlike Under, who has slightly higher acceleration. Good balance and uh, good agility, but the balance is 12 points, I believe, lower than what Under has. Composure though is nice, and then he has really high ball control, really high dribbling. So it'd be, it'll be interesting to see because in terms of these two cards, Bernadeschi is more of the ball control type player, whereas Under is more of the agility balance type player. So we'll see who is more responsive. Then we also got one other card that we're reviewing. It's Pierre Zelinski. I was really hoping to pack this card because he goes for, he only goes for 30K, but it would just be nice to pack someone who's kind of usable. He has five star weak, four star skills, good pace, good dribbling, uh, good passing, but he's not really the kind of midfielder that I think is the most meta because he doesn't have great stamina or strength and his marking is not too great. So this could be a kind of um, more attacking minded or more metronome type, just control the play in the midfield kind of player because he has really good short passing and long passing and then he has a five star weak foot so he can pass with either foot. It'll be interesting to see how we work this out. We got this formation to start, but we're going to be playing under and uh, Bernadeschi up top in a two striker formation. I know you guys kind of, you want some people want to see them played at their normal positions, but it's not really fair in my opinion. And I want to see goals. I like to have things, something to compare them by, which is just goals. We're going to crack into this episode. If you guys are excited, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, comment, share with your friends, and let's get into this. I will give a heads up. If you guys want to be in the 5K music video, you probably have like one or two days left to submit a video. It just has to be, it doesn't even have to be a video, like a five to 10 second clip of you doing something, possibly dancing, and tweet that at Long Transaction, and most likely you're, you'll find yourself in that video. All right, first player. Uh, okay, okay, it's a good looking Brazilian Storm. That's such a new band name, Brazilian Storm. All right, we put Under on the right just because he has a four star weak foot, which I've mentioned in the past kind of is a disadvantage for him because Spinazzola, I mean, uh, Bernadeschi just to gets, gets to hit it on his preferred left foot. But I, I feel like it's the fairest thing we can do here. He's got good pace. He's playing at center defensive mid, which I think if you have two CDMs, he's more the ball playing type. You can kind of advance forward. So I think it's a good position for him. Bernadeschi not strong enough there. Just Bernadeschi turns from one. Bernadeschi, he's got the overlap with Insigne. He gets it to Insigne. Back for Bernadeschi. Low driven time, low driven time. He's, 
He's got goal, good ball control, good dribbling, but uh, he does. I can feel the lack of balance. Oh, he's through. Griezmann, keep it on the left foot. I don't care. Well, okay. Maybe I should care. Play it for under. He's going to play one, two. Get it back for Chingiz. Left foot. Under. Finesse it. Oh, I thought that went in. Oh, wait. Did that really miss? Play one, two. A story. In for Bernadeschi. Back for Bernadeschi. Four-star skill moves. There you go. Look. Oh, that's nice. Bernadeschi. I didn't expect that to go in. Three-star weak foot. But he showed me something there. He doesn't have great shot power or finishing or... Well, his composure's 84, so that's all right. But uh, I have to say, that was a very hopeful hit when I hit that, but happened to go in. It's under, and Bernadeschi back for under, who's through. He's got the good weak foot. Oh, what? I hit that way too soon. But uh, he didn't do a low driven. And so, yeah, he's going to find that ball for under. Oh, under. He went under it. Looking. Bernadeschi inside. Under. Finesse one for me. There you go. Oh, off the post. He got. He keeps getting that room. I think I'm going to make a very big change here, and I think it could be very beneficial for us. All right, so at the halftime break, uh, we have not been that dominant. And I, the change I'm going to make is I'm going to put both of these players, Bernadeschi and Under, at Cam. Because I think they are a much better Cam than they would be a striker. So we're going to play Budimir and Insigne at top, Under and Bernadeschi at Cam. Um, still, like, this is, it's pretty much an easy change for them. And I think that they'll they'll get more goal opportunities actually playing further back on the pitch. Oh, Insigne wins the header. What kind of world are we living in? Insigne wins the header. I'm looking for under. Can he go under that ball? He does. Now center it for me. Oh, he couldn't pick out the pass, but you can see they're making the good runs. Back for Bernadeschi. Go Bernadeschi, good pace. He can run out the defense here. He's got it on that left foot. Composure. Oh, there you go, Bernadeschi. He pinpoint shot that one. Bottom corner off the post. This is the thing about the cam. When they get a full head of steam, they can just run at you. And then they're going to have more options to pass to because the strikers are going to be there. So you can play one twos off them. Kind of what I think Neymar should have done more with Cavani in yesterday's PSG match. But uh, we won't mention that. But just the pace to get by everyone. And then he arrowed that with that left foot. Budimir down for Valdi Fiori. Valdi Fiori, what are you looking for? He's looking for under. He's looking for that left foot. He's looking for under who just hit it a little bit over the bar. How many jokes are you going to make? Preposition jokes. Insigne, one, two. That's just an easy one, too. And Insigne with a chip of dreams. <laughs> I don't know why I tried that. But uh, the little big man came up big for us there. Look at this goal. The keeper's not even like off his... He's literally on his line. And I still chipped him. Insigne gets there first. Insigne for Budimir. We're looking for that run from Bernadeschi. And there we get it. And he got it on the left foot. Oh, he dragged it just slightly wide. But uh, Bernadeschi, he's kind of impressing me. Here's Insigne for Budimir. Down. We're going to play it. Go, Insigne. Come on, you've got the pace here. I need that run from under. There's a run. He's got it on that right foot. He can hit it with the right foot, and that is that is good play. This really is working. These The cams, I like it because they stay pretty wide in the formation. And they make those runs from the from the byline towards goal and it's just really hard to keep that width in defense especially when you get by one defender Zelensky Bernadeschi good passing up to Inz Insigne back heel for Valdi Fiori one more it's under under with a little chip oh wow that's a clever finish I actually he did something better than what I wanted to do I wanted to chip it over the keeper chipped it around the keeper I didn't even know you could do that but great run. He, they're just making really solid runs from deep. And I think, uh, I think Under and Bernadeschi are tied at two goals apiece now. Full-time whistle, we get the 5-1 victory. And uh, we, we were down 1-0 and answered back with Thunder. Bernadeschi tied with Budimir for me on the match. Like I said, Bernadeschi both and Under both had uh, two goals. Any assists for either? No. Now, I know that was only one match, and I don't want to get ahead of myself because we still have two more matches to play in this review. But that really was one of the most fun matches I've had in recent memory, just because they seem to play so well at Cam. And it, this is a very even match in terms of a versus episode. This guy's got an alright team, he's got 28 rated Bakayoko. Budimir looking for Insigne, he's looking for Under who made a really good run. Oh, Under with just one bad touch though, he was in there. He makes good runs, he just kind of can't control the ball too well. Gets it back, Bernadeschi picks it up off him, and he ball roll past one, get it on the right foot, that's a pen. He drew the penalty. He he feels really smooth on the ball. He doesn't have great balance, though, so it's not really quick. 
but he reminds me, it's a weird comparison, but on the ball he kind of reminds me of Musa Dembele in real life, he just glides past people. 75 per penalty, let's see what he can do against Stevie Big Hands Mandanda, sends him the wrong way, and we're up 1-0. Eli Fiori, Budimir, looking for Bernadeschi, left foot, oh he hit it with the right, and that's kind of a mistake when you have the right foot only at 3 star. Oh, look at Bernadeschi, just, he gets, he got by Petit so easily there. He's going to play the 1-2 and get it back, and he's got on the left foot, and low driven. Bernadeschi, take it, bow. That is just unbelievable. To get past Petit, to have the strength to get past him, to have the agility to do that ball roll and the ball control, and then to play the 1-2s, have the finishing to boot. This card's really good. When that, oh no, it's foul for Conte. Wow, it felt perfect. Alessandrini is somehow claiming that. Play one, two. Budimir's through. Budimir's got a left foot. He's going to play it for Insigne. Oh my gosh, that is just good patience by Budimir. Insigne finishes it off. I kind of wanted to, I was trying to pass it to Under because he, I knew he could have scored that. Uh, but we'll take the assist for Budimir and the goal for Insigne. Pernodeski. Insigne plays it for Under. Under, can he finish another? Oh no. Oh my gosh, that would have been such a clever finish. He just missed it wide. He plays it right to Under. He could get retribution for that missed shot. So at halftime, uh, we are clearly the- we are clearly Zavina! I haven't really mentioned Zelensky that much because he hasn't done anything that impactful. We haven't really been too- under too much pressure though, but he has been pretty calm in center mid, but uh, not- not crazy. Oh no, we're in trouble, Petit. Wow, he got the one twos. And uh, three two. Right after halftime, we were obviously asleep. We were still eating our tea and crumpets. A good one, too. Bernadeschi back for him. Great pass. And, of course, Bernadeschi's not going to miss that voice. Bernadeschi hits it with so much power. You would think he has the higher shot power out of himself and Under, but he's showing that he can really find the bottom corner. Look at this hit. It was a great pass. Take nothing away from the pass by Insigne, by the way. Back heel. He just loves a little post action. I wonder if his favorite rapper is Post Malone. Not Crossbar Malone, his brother. Oh, Zelensky, good moves. Good moves here for Zelensky. Gets fouled. I wonder what Insigne can do from this distance. Can he get it over? Oh, okay, that's what he can do. That's that's pretty good. Let's have a replay. The wall? It's a big wall, too. They, only one person jumped, but he didn't jump high enough. Play it for Insigne, who's behind the defense. And he dances by one. Oh, he dances by him again. It's still Insigne. Insigne, I, I didn't think I liked this card. I may have to reconsider my options here. Because he's been pretty incredible. No, don't quit. I want to hit the free kick. I want to see if Insigne can score another. No! He quit. All right, this guy has a 72 rated silver foot champs reward. I don't know why you would even bother using him. Maybe he's really good. I don't know. I have no idea who that actually is. Uh, he's got Conte. He's playing Messi Lingard at center defensive mid. You don't play Messi at center defensive mid, guys. Come on. That's rule number 17 on my list. Oh, he plays it in. Wow, that was actually a really nice pass. I don't know who finished it, but a uh, clever finish. We're down 1-0, boys, and uh, I think we deserve to be down 1-0. Oh, Sean McConville! I don't know who you are, son, but congratulations, you've scored a goal. I need the runs from under, and uh, Bernadeschi, there's the run from under, but I feel like they're getting sucked in a little bit too far defensively, and I don't really like it. We're going to tackle him. Bernadeschi's going to get it. Bernadeschi with good strength. Can he get by him? Good ball roll. Oh, what a save by Courtois. I thought it was past him. It looked like the ball was past him and he still saved it. Bernadeschi, really dangerous to get it onto that left foot. And, uh, wow, what a hand. What a strong hand. Go, Insigne. Play it through for Budimir. Budimir, he's not known for anything at all, but he could score. Okay, maybe he's known for that. He has, he has the good strength. I think he has medium-high work rates. And he's a 78 rated player, so you don't expect a lot out of him, but he showed good strength. We're in trouble. We gotta get in the middle. We gotta get in the middle. We do. Oh, it's gonna fall right for Rashford, and he gets it to one. Good save. Good block. But uh, he got it back. There's Budimir. Still with Budimir. They're not closing down Budimir. They want Budimir to just score everything, don't they? It's Budimir will do it. Trust me, he'll do it. I know him, personally. He'll do it. All right, halftime break. This guy's been pretty much all over us. We don't have good pass accuracy. I've been a little bit not not patient at all <laughs> in this game. I'm just bring, bringing my center backs out to the halfway line to try to tackle him. And uh, Bernadeschi, been, he's been sucked back a little bit too far defensively. We haven't gotten the ball to him at his feet to allow him to run at the defense. Let's see if Insigne can score another one. He did it last time pretty easily. And uh, oh my gosh, that was so close. Good header, Valdefiori. 
Budimir. Back for Budimir. He wa he's on a hat trick and he's going to get it because Budimir gets hat tricks, boys. I know him personally. I have his phone number. I'll call him up if you want. I'll ask him why his poop on his elbow. Mon Dieu. Whip it back post. Insigne. Oh, he couldn't score it. It would have been a very acrobatic move. Play it for Bernadeschi. Keep it on that left foot. Bernadeschi on the left foot. Hit it from there. You got the angle. Oh, he hit the post. He loves finding that post, man. I told you. Post Malone. One more. Back four. Cheng's under. Under. Low driven. Oh, just hit it a little bit wide. I'm not going to I'm not gonna take the blame on that one because I think I hit that one right. He just missed it. Oh, we're in trouble. Sadio Mane. Back post. And three all. Ahmed Musa. Still in a match here. Insigne gets by one. Insigne for Bernadeschi, who made a clever run inside. Plays it back for Budimir. Budimir down. Bernadeschi left foot. Bernadeschi. What a man. What a man. He's just, he's good. He gets, he, he made a really smart run because if you had just gone wide, it would have been, he would have been taken out of the play. But that run inside caused that and then he finishes it because he's got the shot power. And Courtois, qu questionable goalkeeping there. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I thought Consili, I thought Consili would have come back. Messi Lingard scores from the halfway line. Um, I don't really know why I did that. Oh, played in behind for Bernadeschi. He's through. Bernadeschi left foot. Oh, what a save by Courtois. Court Bernadeschi makes good runs and just finds space under for Insigne. Callejon, who's off the bench with pace and with the finish. Callejon, the alley, the alley cat is back here, boys. And uh, let's not give us the goal kick. What is going on? Napoli boys, they have fun in Naples. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. But what a save by Consili. That hand was incredible. Lozano. Oh, it's Mane. Oh, Mane scores 5 all. 120th minute. No, we have to go to pens and I have to edit that. I'm just going to, I'm not going to show the pens, guys. <laughs> I guess penalties, it's a uh, good experience because I never... I never really perform too well when I'm doing these penalties in the weekend league, but it's just not the same type of pressure. And uh, it's, pressure is really what it's all about. Pressure makes diamonds. And I have to use the bathroom too, so I kind of hope that we can do this pretty quickly. We've saved it twice though, so I'm, fa I'm fairly a happy boy at this point. And uh, Gabbiadini puts it away. Can we save another one? I really have to use the bathroom. Chucky Lozano, come on, be my friend. Be my friend, Chucky. Thank you, Chucky. I read you pretty easily here. And uh, Conte. Come on, do your best Andrea Pirlo impression. Oh, damn it. All right, save this. Let me use the bathroom. Rashford, thank you. You didn't score a single penalty. That's kind of embarrassing. All right, so let's do this review pretty quickly because I got to use the bathroom really bad. Federico Bernadeschi, uh, six goals, one assist, four games played. He was really solid for me. He didn't have any assists though. I would say his best position is Cam. And for 47k, he's really good. He makes great runs. His left foot is really good. Finishing, I thought, played a lot better than 76. He's got good composure, too. Uh, the thing is, he doesn't have great pace. So I would say a hunter really is the best thing to use on this card. He's got decent enough agility and balance. He's pretty quick. But his ball control is really good, actually. Uh, Cheng's under. Three goals, no assists, and four matches played. This card was a little bit disappointing. But then again, it's just an 80-rated card. And... Uh, he just—he's kind of slow. He does have a nice right foot to go along with the weak, or to go along with the left foot, so that the right foot does add something. But really, this card doesn't really compare too much. He does go for discard, but then again, you could just get a Quadrado, who's going to be a high-rated player and he's cheaper. So I would say Chingizunder is a nah for me. Bernadeski is a buy for me, and then Zielinski didn't do anything. I don't—he got one assist. And uh, he didn't really impress me too much. I think Engine would be the best to make his agility and mounts go higher. But this card doesn't play enough defensively for me. And he doesn't have the great finishing or composure or the speed to really get forward. I know 86 pace is pretty high, but he didn't really feel quick on the ball. So this card is a buy for me at 30k, but uh, I would not spend 35k on him. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for new commentary friends. I'd use the bathroom. I'll see you boys later. Don't forget to spare bets.